Well, it's the trend taking over TikTok. And if you haven't officially had a girl dinner yet, chances are you have and you just didn't know it. Here with her take on the girl dinner trend is chef and culinary stylist Ashton Keith. Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, I love this. so much talk about girl dinners. It's a new trend. It all started on, on TikTok because this girl sang this song, talked about her girl dinner, and now millions of women are sharing their own girl dinner. So for those who don't know, let's just tell everybody what a girl dinner. <laughs> well, I mean, we all have our own definition of that, but I think it's just putting something on a plate. But I do think the key point, a component of it is making it beautiful. Yeah. You eat with your eyes. I think when you're eating alone, it's important to to make something look beautiful. It makes you feel good. I know that sounds very woo-woo, but the energy no, you put I into love it, it. I, is so important. I agree, because we come from food yeah. backgrounds, and so we're like putting something really beautiful together, and I think a lot of the girls' dinners is like, no fuss, just throw it on a plate, like it's a whatever you want, and it's not a complete meal. Yes. But we can make it nice, too. And oh. And, of course, and it could be more than just a cheese board. It could be more. What do you love about a girl dinner? I love it that it's easy, it's beautiful, it's a way, it's self care. Yeah. Feeding yourself with totally self care. Agree. I totally agree. So yeah. you brought some some fun, pretty girl yes. dinner stuff. Let's talk about what you want to make here. We're going to elevate it just slightly. I still want to teach everybody to cook. I know you just feel the same yeah. way. But we've got some rice. Everybody's got like rice wrappers in their pantry. I actually just, do have these in my pantry right now. Soak them a little bit. So I'll let you kind of soak that. Yeah. And then I have the store bought cabbage slaw. Okay. Really easy. I add a little bit of salt to this and okay. a little bit of acid. Yep. It's really, really easy. And then this gets yep. super soft. And then all you do is kind of wrap your rice paper, your vegetables yep. in your rice paper. So you've got like a homemade. I feel like we needed a little more time on that right now. <laughs> but all you need to do is like you, you fill it in like oh, this. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll work. It'll work. It'll do the trick. It'll do the trick, exactly. <laughs> but this is, you could use anything you have. You can use leftover rice from takeout. You can use any kind of vegetables. Yeah. Just chop it up. Shrimp would be great in Shrimp. there. Shrimp. And then you just roll it up. I serve yep. this with a little bit of like soy sauce or do this. like a, any kind of dipping sauce that you have in your fridge that's like hanging on the shelf. Yeah. Just make that work. This is not my best wrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a little hard. Of course. But yes, and then you just slice it, make yourself a little sauce. It's perfect. Absolutely. And I'm serving this actually because you have to have wine with a girl dinner. This yeah. is a 2022 Cuvée Saint Estate Sauvignon Blanc. So this okay. is really vibrant lemongrass. It goes really well with this kind of Asian inspired rice wrap. Oh, yeah. That's nice with veggies. I didn't even cheers you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we just got right to the point, right? Uh, okay, so let's talk about this <laughs> next one here. I love this. This is like yogurt. Everybody's got yogurt on yes. hand, and you can strain it, but if you're doing girl dinner, you kind of want to keep it easy. moving. So yeah. this is a nice thick Greek yo yogurt. Yeah. And then I've spread it on a plate. Again, yep. just make it look nice and fancy. And I'm just taking a bunch of different seasonal vegetables. Yeah. Girl dinner is also like summer dinner. You don't have to do a lot to summer food yes. because it's so fresh and vibrant. And I just add some radishes. I feel like it should make you feel good too. Like a girl dinner is like just for you. Yep. Do whatever makes you happy. Exactly. Bright colors, bright healthy colors. stuff with a lot of flavor too, does make you happy. Oh my gosh, and then I'm doing some pesto. Everybody's got a lot of this stuff in their fridge. Yeah. And then I serve it with some grilled pita. Again, you would use some toast, pop it in the toaster, don't be a hero, yeah. but it looks really fancy and beautiful. Super easy dessert, yes. which I love. And again, very seasonal. Yep, so pavlovas are having a moment. I'm bringing the trifle back. I think it's really delicious. It's easy. Um, pound cake, again, you can use whatever you have and you can just like layer it. I'll put you to work again. <laughs> Just layer it, and then I've got some berries here, and then most people don't realize you can actually make whipped cream with one ingredient. It's just heavy cream. Yeah. So I just whip this up just like this, and then I'm gonna top oh, my dish. You do the whipped cream first and then the berries, but I was I doing like- I kinda layer it. Yeah. So just do a little bit on berries. top. Exactly, let me get a little bit of this. Okay. Give you a spoon to go in there. Yeah, and if you really wanted to do like no fuss girl dinner, you put some cool whip I on know, there. I know, I know. You can do a whip day. topping. You can do a whip <laughs> topping. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to pair that with something sparkly and pink. Yes, this joke. is a 2019 Domain Carneros. This is like strawberry shortcakes dream pairing. Oh, I love also it. goes well with bacon. Ooh, ooh, oh, also goes well with bacon. <laughs> I love that. Now we're going to cheers. Thank you so much for girl dinner recipes, entertaining tips, and more. Follow Ashton on social media at Ashton Keith. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is like the perfect meal. Oh, thank you. <laughs>